Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Boom. Uh, we figured out the problem. Oh my god. So I made these two videos and, and I had this, this problem with collision and it was bugging out and it's still bugging out. And, and I didn't know what it was and I was, I was trying everything and I was like, what the hell? Like, what, what can it be, right? The thing is, when you have an outline on something, it kind of messes up its global bounds, okay? It kind of messes it up and gives you wrong values back. I don't know why. Uh, it's really weird. It shouldn't. But, um, yeah, you know, you could have outline minus one, it seems like. It should work. Let's try this. But anyway, let's just see what I what I changed until I was trying some stuff. So I got this get velocity. I can actually remove that for now. Tile map. Uh, I printed, I was printing out the velocity. I think that was the only thing I changed uh, as well as I removed the minus twos and plus twos from all of these here. All right. So just remove that from all of those and let's get going. So, and I also just, uh, I don't know if you missed it, but I, I actually changed the outline thickness to minus one from um in here in in the hitbox so let's try that uh let's see if that helps yeah that helps okay so there you go now it's colliding properly it's working just like it should and i think it'll handle all the corner cases and everything uh, i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna try to work with uh basically try to work with um optimizing everything making sure everything is okay because some stuff we're doing isn't really great. Like you, you'll see in the warnings, we'll get uh, we'll get a bunch of errors, warnings, um, things like that, uh, that we need to fix. But the biggest issue is the way we get stuff. And let's see, hitbox component. Let's go into game state. Let's just see how we update everything just to make sure. Uh, okay, so I'm doing the player update and I'm updating the tile map now before the player update. This is also important because this will make this is what moves the player in the end. Okay, this is what activates that movement component move thingy. And this will make sure the velocity set to zero before we move the player in case there is a collision. All right, so we get the input, we check for the collision, and then we move the player. This is the other way around in your code, most probably. Uh, so these two are switched, but it should be like this. Once you do that, you should be fine. Player is all good. We can have the hitbox component. It doesn't matter. Everything is run like that. So I'll close that. I'll close this. I'll close. Uh, we can keep this. You know what? We could remove it, but we could, we could keep it for now. It doesn't really matter since it does work. All of these things work. I think it was some error with this. Set position, get position. The outline wasn't being calculated. And there were some errors there. So just remember that next time you're working with these these things just make sure that um, you know what you're doing so these are integers uh, what we could do is just one thing here just take all these size t just say int here all right because there is a conversion error otherwise or not error but a warning so I'm just gonna change all of these for loop size t's to integers we will change that later anyway uh, and then you get the signed to unsigned mismatch. So you got the max size world grid, which is an unsigned value. Uh, what I want to do is actually make sure that is an integer later because we won't need an unsigned there. We don't need that large of a, a number, 2 million, whatever it is uh, for grids. We won't have that many grids, so it won't really matter. Uh, so integers are better in our case. So I'm just going to go ahead into tile map and I'm going to make that into a 2i. So we'll skip a lot of those issues. Uh, and then we'll probably get some other problems here. Um, max size here, unsigned. Just set int width and int height here instead of unsigned. Okay. In tile map. Let me get tile map.h here as well. Um, tilemap.h right here so integer okay all right that should be good 
and then these grid posi uh, everything that has to do with grid should be in ints so i'm sorry about that I, I messed it up it's my fault but that's how we learn uh we're casting that to float now those are i that is good okay let's run this let's see if we have any more warnings and we'll we should have we probably will have a bunch of warnings here but there won't be any errors i'm pretty sure okay seems to be good we're colliding everything's fine uh nice nice all right all right all right all right so so there we go that is working now let's focus on this video let's try to remove some of these uh things that we're getting so i'm just going to remove all the size t's here make them integers and also the layer let's move the layer let's make that an integer as well uh grid size let's call it grid size i call that int right there all right make sure you change all that um unsigned okay we'll have to change those so this video let's just focus on removing all of these errors here i all right instead of grid size u change that to int um and then all the size t's as well int 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 Let's keep going down here. No more for loops, right? I don't think. Let's say grid size i. Integer on all of these. Go down here. Vector 2i instead of that. And then int. And then int on both of these. Um, change that to grid size i. All right, so there we go. Some stuff is happening. And then integers on all of these. We want to get rid of all the warnings, right? We don't want any kind of data loss. We don't want anything. That's why I'm doing all this. So let's just go together hand in hand and change all these variables. Make sure they're all okay. And um, grid size i, grid size i. What you could do, you could search. You could do control F. And then you can do the replace thing and just replace all grid size U's with grid size I's. Okay. And all size T's to ints. But I'm doing it manually just so we can see what's going on. So I just change all of these. Uh, and then most probably here as well. Grid size I. Copy, just copy paste that, you know. There you go. Boom. All right. So most of that is, most of that is good. Uh, most probably we're going to have to change the one more thing here um i did see this right here those x y z uh there we go just change all of those to integers and then and that is good so it it takes those out and then it creates a new tile doesn't it right here so it puts those in there into a tile so let's open up tile as well we're gonna have to change those so bool all that shit uh, now let's start off with the h file change all of these to integers everything that requires to be an integer float rec 2f everything seems fine here Let's go to the constructor again. Integer, integer. Grid size f, blah, blah, blah. Const float, const float. Boom. Looks fine. No big deal. All right, let's run this. Now let's see. So this, when you're changing stuff from integers to, to uh, or unsigned to integers, it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, what the hell just happened, dude? Are you serious? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, let's do it like this. Let's go in here. Error list. Here it is. Okay, so it doesn't seem like we're getting any more warnings now. Um, am I? No warnings. No errors. Okay, seems seems cool. So we just changed everything to integers. Uh, doesn't seem to be a problem. Now, if you do want, 
you can well we should get warnings because yeah let's see build let's rebuild the entire solution now let's see oh there we go okay there they are all right so let's keep working here all right so this is a unsigned oh here we got to do int as well so we're in tile map at tile let's change all of these to integers and then tile map dot h add tile and remove tile okay we gotta do integers on all of these boom tile map remove tile all right there you go i know why it's closing as well uh we need to fix that in game so i'm just gonna open it so i don't forget game yeah i'll just keep it like that anyway let's uh four warnings whoops i should have done this and then look at the error list all right so now we only have we have one more of these local variable we're gonna fix that as well uh, all right uh, so size t to unsign short okay number of elements is an unsigned integer drop down list unsigned I could just do unsigned right there and then build and then we'll see so most of the errors should be gone now at least with the unsigned stuff yeah good that, now that one's gone perfect that's all we wanted to do for now then we have some more small things here I'll, I'll keep working on that in the next one but the collision works that's the most that's the biggest point of this video and fixing some uh, some of these shitty things because we don't want all of these as we go along so sorry about the slow video um yeah these are just things we got to get out of the way so in the next one we'll probably start working with adding maybe fixing some more of these just fixing the remaining ones and then adding the link list to the tile map so we can add several layers on top of layers so it'll look really cool uh but yeah there you go guys and girls thank you so much for watching hope this helped um sorry about these past three videos just been really weird and not that not that good um but yeah there we are hopefully in the future we'll we'll get some better videos but thank you so much take care keep working hard and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye